Hi everyone. I thought that I would do today's reflection on how to properly evaluate and also because there has been a lot of talk about Bloom's taxonomy. Also, I thought that I could tap on that a little bit. So let's get to it. So how do we evaluate? Evaluation is an educated judgment. It means that we are finding an effective solution to a problem. We are justifying a specific decision and we are supporting our opinion with knowledge. So, for example, when I'm doing Goldilocks with my little kiddos, I might ask the children to assess whether it really happened to Goldilocks or not. Or I can ask them to critique her principles or to judge uh, her behavior. So some of the verbs that we're using when we are evaluating are appraise, conclude, critique, uh, judge, evaluate, support, um, summarize, choose, and one more for example, predict. All right, so that's for evaluation. Now, uh, there has been some talk about Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, there has been questions such as, for example, which one goes first or which one is more important than the other, uh, whether there is, whether the other uh, levels are equally as difficult. And there are also questions such as which level we should focus more because as we used to know, like, there was a pyramid, so there was a very heavy knowledge base. And there are some talks that, for example, if a child comes from a poor area, they should be focusing more on this level. So I would like to um, react on that a little bit. So this is completely my picture. So please feel free to step in. So I believe as per the sequence, there might have been a logical approach. Um, I imagine that each level is kind of, one level is kind of scaffolding uh, the other, but at the same time, it's 21st century, so it's not rigid, it's not so rigid anymore. We have new pedagogies and you don't really need, you might not need one for the other. So if someone is asking, can I skip around, I would say 100%. Take, for example, project-based learning. We start with application and through the application, we learn about the facts, about the knowledge part. So that's for the sequence. As per the difficulty, I do believe that as we go higher, uh, the, 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 the level of thinking is become increasingly challenging. I mean, that is why it's called uh, higher order thinking, right? So I do believe that one might be more difficult than the other. And as per the importance, I don't think it's one over the other. I think that we should have a good balance. Take, for example, IB. We have uh, knowledgeable right next to your problem solver. So they're on the same level. So I don't think one is more important than the other. However, when there is talk, for example, um, like in this one article uh, that I have uh, come across, that if you have children in poor area, the teacher should be focusing solemnly on the recalling and remembering a knowledge uh, kind of part uh, level, I think that is completely wrong. I think especially if you come from these circumstances, your critical thinking, problem solving, application, analyzing everything is very important. And it does remind me of the article in um, Fulham, Fulham's book, in the, in the chapter 8, The Future, The Rich Futures, where he says that there might be a lot of unemployment, but the new pedagogies are actually the answer. So I think this is quite applicable. All right, so please let me know. Looking forward to your comments.